If you're a public speaker or if you're someone that likes to host a lot of webinars or a lot of events, you'll be glad to know that Events Manager, the popular WordPress plugin, now officially integrates with Thrive Automator. So let's take a look at how Events Manager works and some of the cool things that you can do with it. Hi everyone, I'm Tony Lewis with Thrive Themes and this is your friendly reminder to both hit the like button and to subscribe to our YouTube channel as well. All right, let's dig into Events Manager. All right, so I have my customer hub opened up and if you still don't know what a customer hub is or how to build one, there should be like a video suggestion pop up uh, showing up on screen now, go check that video out. Um, as it's important for you uh, to understand what a customer hub is, how to build one using Thrive Architect. And if I scroll down through my customer hub, you can see that I now have a very nice looking calendar and a list of upcoming events displaying here right inside my customer hub. This is all powered through the events manager plugin. I'm going to show you how I did this and how you can set something similar up. Before I show you the back end of how this looks like in Thrive Architect and WordPress, let me just show you what happens if I were to click on one of these kinder items, you can see that there is an event happening on December 12th, 2022, social media trends in 2023, happening in Orlando. If I were to click on this event, this actually takes me to the event page, which breaks down when the event is actually taking place, December 12th at 5 p.m. We're at the uh, University of Central Florida. It is a speaking event, and here I have a short description. I can even add this to my calendar if I wanted to. Pretty cool stuff. From a backend perspective, Events Manager lets you display your calendar widgets and a list of upcoming events pretty much anywhere on your website using shortcodes. So as you can see, I've got the customer hub opened up with Thrive Architect here. And if I scroll down, you can see that under speaking events, I have a shortcode to display my calendar and a separate um, shortcode right underneath it to display a list of upcoming events. Creating events is actually pretty easy. You simply come over here to add event. Here I get to tell Events Manager whether this is going to be an in-person event or a digital event. Uh, let's make it an in-person event at the Amway Center. As you can see, I've got um, some locations already pre-saved here. And if I keep on scrolling down, here I can enable bookings and registrations. So if you've got limited slots available for your event, you wanna make sure that you uh, let events manager know this. Yes, you can charge for, um, you know, for slots in your event. If that's something that you're interested in doing, events manager integrates with Stripe, with PayPal. So you shouldn't be, you shouldn't have any problems there. And here we can make our standard ticket just be a um, hundred dollars. And let's make the spaces be 3000 spaces. Since it's happening at the Amway Center, I'm just going to pick out a, an image from the Amway Center here as my featured image and it is a speaking event and it's going to be taking place on january 4th at 1 p.m and it's going to finish at 2 p.m and if we now navigate to our customer hub and we scroll down to our calendar let's jump over to january and we can see that our event is scheduled here for january 4th and if we open it up we can see that we have the option to book and to add it to our calendar with our short description, which is pretty neat. Awesome, so to wrap it up, let me just show you a couple of cool automations that you can set up with Events Manager and Thrive Automator. All right, so I'm in the backend of Thrive Automator. I'm gonna go ahead and create an automation. And as you can see, since I have Events Manager installed on my website, Thrive Automator is automatically capable of detecting that. And it shows me the option of choosing Events Manager as my main trigger category. Um, so let's go ahead and pick Events Manager as, as our main trigger. And we can see that we've got five different triggers. If a booking is added, if a booking status is changed, and if an event is published, if an event is created, or if an event status gets changed, these are our main five uh, triggers that we have available as of today. Um, we could potentially have the classic, hey, if, a, you know, if someone adds a booking, let's go ahead and... Um, add them inside our uh, email autoresponder, right? So if someone um, uh, books a, a slot in, in one of my events, let's make sure that they get added into either Active Campaign or Drip or ConvertKit or whatever email marketing service you're using. That way we can 
um, put them inside an automation or workflow so that they get properly informed about when the event is and you know some maybe you want to upsell them on something so that's always pretty nice we could also have an automation so that when a booking status changes um, inside our email marketing service we could tag someone as follow-up and so inside our email marketing service for example inside active campaign I would probably have an automation so that when someone gets tagged as follow-up, I would automatically send them an email asking them, hey, what happened? Why can you no longer um, show up for uh, you know to my event? And I would probably also send myself an email with some details as to who actually changed um, you know, the status of their booking and you know what their first name is, what their email is, in case I want to reach out to them personally, and some other details that I may have um, about that user. So these are always automations that come very in handy, and that you can fit, uh, that you can do thanks to Thrive Automator. All right, that's it for this video. Let me know in the comment section below if you've ever used a booking tool like Events Manager or if you're planning on doing so. Down below in the description box, you're also going to find a link to learn more about Thrive Automator and Thrive Suite. It's been a real pleasure and I'll see you guys very soon.